Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Davis, the developer of Dataforge Notebook and author of Data Wrangling with JavaScript. This is a quick video to show you some of the awesome examples that are already available and come bundled with the early access version of Dataforge Notebook. As you can see, Dataforge Notebook already comes with quite a few example notebooks, and every new release I'm adding one or two new notebooks. I'm also about to open the code repository for example notebooks, so that Dataforge Notebook users can submit changes to existing notebooks and even add new example notebooks. With so many examples here, I don't know where to start, but I'm going to start with the JavaScript cheat sheet. This is a cheat sheet for data wrangling in JavaScript. It's useful if you need a refresher on working with data in JavaScript. It shows some basic coding and how that works in Dataforge Notebook. It can help you understand how to read, write, and transform data files. It finishes with how to load data from a REST API. There's also a Dataforge cheat sheet. Dataforge is my go-to library for slicing, dicing, transforming, visualizing, and analyzing data. This cheat sheet shows you how to do many of the common operations you need when working with data in JavaScript. We have loading data files. Uh, we have transforming and filtering data, extracting and working with time series data, data grouping, summarization, and aggregation. And then finally, saving your transformed data files back to disk and working with REST APIs. Here's another interesting example. This notebook shows the different types of visualizations you can use at the moment in Dataforge Notebook. We can visualize a JavaScript array or a JavaScript object. We can preview and display HTML. We can preview data frames as tables and we can render charts. There's more types of visualizations coming in future versions of Dataforge Notebook. Currently charts are rendered using C3, but in the future they're going to be more supported charting libraries available for you to use. There's plenty of other examples here. This one shows you how to do web scraping in Dataforge Notebook. This one shows you how to load one of your reusable JavaScript code modules into your notebook. There's also separate examples for charting, REST APIs, working with JSON files, and also working with CSV data files. There's a bunch of examples here on doing backtesting and quantitative trading in JavaScript. These all show how to use the Grademark backtesting API. The first example uh, is already included in Dataforge Notebook. This notebook backtests a simple mean reversion trading strategy. You can see here that we first prepare and visualize some input data. We then compute and visualize our indicators that we can use as trading signals. We then define and backtest our trading strategy. Finally, we analyze and visualize the performance of the strategy. I'm currently working on a bunch of other examples for the Grademark API, uh, including backtesting with a trailing stop loss using Monte Carlo simulation for more reliable performance metrics, and also an example of optimizing a trading strategy to get the best performance of it. These new example notebooks will soon be included with Dataforge Notebook Release 17. That's all I have for you today. To register your interest in Dataforge Notebook, please visit www.dataforgenotebook.com. Thanks for listening.